not forgiving them, but he kills them. History of overusing painful bits of information. After a request was submitted, Ministry of okay. Ex officials located the missing file. I'm going to do each file, by the way, contains upward of maybe a hundred or two hundred documents. So we're talking thousands of documents. They sent those files to the National Archives, and everyone was expecting an imminent release. But in an unprecedented move, the Ministry of Defence then recalled the files. Now, I've never heard of this happening before. To date, these 18 files remain under lock and key, so something very mysterious is going on. Why would the British Ministry of Defence send UFO files to the National Archives and then suddenly recall them without explanation? Some government insiders have suggested that the files were moved for safekeeping, or another, even more secure facility was being prepared. When the National Archives returned the files to the British government, they were spirited away to an undisclosed location. There are those who believe that location is a former Royal Air Force base in the southwest county of Wiltshire, called Rutlow Manor. A site that the Ministry of Defense used to perform UFO investigations dating back to the 1940s. On the surface, it appears to be nothing more than a quaint English manor house. But deep beneath this structure lie an astounding 2.2 million square feet of vast caverns divided into many smaller chambers. These underground quarries were excavated in the 19th century to mine bath stone, a type of limestone used to build the nearby city of Bath and several other English cities. One century later, in 1939, England was drawn into World War II, and the British Royal Air Force took over the depleted quarries, transforming them into an underground aircraft factory. At the end of the war, many such facilities were returned to civilian control. But Buffalo Manor and its over 2 million square feet of secret tunnels and chambers were never surrendered. For years, it was home to a group called the Provost and Security Services. They're kind of like the James Bonds of the British Royal Air Force. They do espionage investigations, counterintelligence programs, things like that, even terrorism investigations. But back in the 1990s, and certainly going back to the 1950s, the Provost and Security Services were heavily involved in UFO investigations. For years, the Air Force and the Ministry of Defence denied that any UFO investigations were going on at Rondo Man. Then a document got released and it showed that actually, yes, UFO investigations had been done from Rudlow Manor and the staff there had been working hand in glove with those of us in the headquarters building in London. Shortly before the Ministry of Defense released their UFO files in 2007, they announced that Rudlow Manor was no longer in use by the military. But if that's true, why are the grounds surrounded by chain link fences, monitored by security cameras, and even protected by guard dogs? To find the answers, in January of 2017, Indian astronaut theorist Giorgio Sukolov traveled to the protected boundaries of Ludlow Manor. Yes. Joining him in his search for the truth.